Hello, Year 9. Welcome back to your music lessons. I uh, hope you had a great half term. We're coming back with lesson six, and this lesson will be Notes on the Piano Revisited. Before we get started, if you're looking for any previous lessons, uh, the videos of any previous lessons, they can be found on YouTube. Uh, I've put in the top box of this slide a link which will link you to a playlist on YouTube which has all my videos on. Uh, that means you can find uh, lessons one, two, three, four, and five, and obviously this lesson six. This is important because uh, you need to make sure that you complete any previous lessons as they are required to effectively complete this lesson and lessons in the future. For today's lesson, the lesson objective is to strengthen our understanding of the keyboard so it can be applied to revising semitone. So we have looked at the keyboard. Uh, we have looked at semitones before, but I want us just to quickly look over it again because we will be using them more and more in the future. So having a really strong understanding of them is imperative. Uh, so as we look at the uh, outcomes for today, the red box on the left, I'm able to find any note on a keyboard. Uh, you should probably be able to do this at this point, but we just want to look over it again so we can make sure we're really strong with it. Once you're able to do that, the yellow box in the middle, you are able to understand semitone movement. We've, again, we've done this before, but I want to just really make sure we've got a really strong understanding of this so we can apply it quickly and efficiently. Uh, once you're able to do this in the green box on the right, you are able to apply your understanding of semitones when working out note movement. So uh, working out from one note to the next and working out a different note, as I said, as we ask you to ask, work out a note like C, what is a semitone away from that? You need to be able to understand that it's, it's going to be C sharp. Notes on a keyboard. The notes on the keyboard uh, move alphabetically. So that means it goes from A to G and then it just repeats. So there's no uh, note H, as you know. Uh, when you get to G, you should go back to A. And then, as I said before, it does move alphabetically. So, uh, for example, if you look, you can see note D. Uh, the note to the right of note D will always be note E, the white notes. Uh, and then after E will be F, G, and then you go back to A, and it just goes alphabetically A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Also, when it comes to identifying notes on a keyboard, remember that C is to the left of the two black keys. We always use that phrase to help us work out where where notes on a keyboard are. So if you look, there's two black keys put together and there are three black keys put together. You need to find the two black keys put together and move to the left of those, just to the left, and you'll see that it is the note C. And then from that, we can work out other than all the other notes on the keyboard, because next to C will be D, then E, then F, then G, and then as again, it repeats, so it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you can see to get to the next C, again, it's to the left of the two black keys. Make sure it's the two black keys, not the three, because the three black keys, the left of the three black keys, as you can see, is F. So make sure you can identify the two black keys, not the three. Uh, and then the black notes, we have the accented notes, which, as you can see, it has like C hashtag. We call that C sharp. Or um, you have E with a little B after it. We call that E flat. So uh, they are the accented notes as well. Task one, I'd like to write down the notes for each number on the keyboard below. So you can see uh, the keyboard below I put, it doesn't have notes on it, but I put the numbers. Use the graph above to help you identify which notes are which on that keyboard. So you can write down and tell me that you can show me that you can identify where the notes are on a keyboard. So that's for task one. Once you've done that, we move on to task two, which we're looking over semitones. Just to remind you that yet again, that semitones is moving from one note to the next closest note. So as I put in the uh, little diagram at the top, F, the, the closest note to F is not uh, the next white note, which would be G, but it's actually the accented, the black note, which would be F sharp, F hashtag. So the closest note, you want to think about the closest note, uh, to that one note. So for task two, I'd like you to write down the notes that are a semitone from each of the notes in the question below. So I've given you a note. Uh, you can see for some of these tasks, I put an arrow, which will help you work out which is the semitone movement. As we go along, it gets a bit more difficult and you'll see that there are no arrows. Uh, so you need to work out which is the semitone yourself without me, uh, without this little bit of a uh, bit of help. Uh, you can use the keyboard on the previous slide to help you 
with this task. Uh, so task for question one, we've got C, what's the semitone away from C? Question two, we've got A, what's the semitone away from A? Then we've got question three, B flat, B little b, B flat, what's the semitone away from that? And where's the arrow point to? F, uh, we've got for question four, what's the semitone away from that? What is the arrow pointing towards the closest note? Then we've got 5D, which doesn't have an arrow, so you've got to use what you've learned from previous uh, questions. And then 6, we have F sharp. Again, what's a semitone away from F sharp? So that's for task 2. Show your understanding of semitones by showing me that you can understand what is a semitone away from the notes that I have given you. Once you've done that, uh, well done. Your research project should be finished and uploaded by now, so please go and check that it is uh, finished and uploaded. Uh, I'm excited to see how you do with your work. Well done, and thank you for listening.